Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about Tyler Kolick. I am so high on this man as a as a potential playmaker in the future in the NBA. Tyler Kolick, I think, is one of the most undervalued players in this current NBA draft that's going to be a rookie this year. The main reason I believe he's so undervalued is he is such a good passer. He has decent offensive weapons as well, period. However, he is such a good passer that sees the floor so, so well. Today, we're going to walk through some of his passes in one of his most recent Summer League games and why they are so effective for creating opportunities for the offense. Let's go. The four categories of passes we're going to break this into are swinging pass, attacking the defense pass, probing pass, and skip pass. We're going to discuss why each of them has such an impact on the game and why they're all relatively unique in their own way. So the first one we're looking for is swing. So I'd say swing is the simplest of all the passes that essentially players are able to make. And that's essentially when you have an overload one way or the other, somebody's open, all you have to do is move the ball one simple pass away. Okay, so Tocola gets this ball, swings it immediately to the pat, immediately to the corner, and it leads to an open three-pointer. While this pass is definitely not as flashy as some of the others, it still is vastly important because it leads to open shots maybe more than any others even though it's one pass away it takes away it takes advantage of defenses being simply out of position slightly and leads to good clean looks that being said i don't think it demonstrates crazy his his passing ability because this is something i would expect frankly just about every nba player every really good nba player to be able to do i'll include this as a swing oh this is slightly different but this is one pass away. Defenders helping off the corner makes it an easy read for Kolek to pass the ball out and again get another open three. The next style of pass that we're going to look at is the pass that essentially the defense is allowing. So there are certain defensive coverages that allow certain types of passes. And Tyler Kolek does a great job taking advantage of these types of passes. And does it very effectively giving his players opportunities to be in positions where they can make the right reads. So here we can see that they're essentially kind of trapping they're hard hedging on this wall screen right here which means 55 the big man is going to be open in this area tyler kolek puts a perfect bounce pass right into 55's bread basket so gives him space to work four on three i don't know what zero is doing all the way out here but four on three and 55 makes another very good pass so having a rolling big that can pass effectively in this situation puts huge strain on the defense when you have kolek these kinds of passes show Tyler Kolick's ability to understand the defense and what they're doing essentially in the moment. So this is something that like you can practice at a certain amount of time, but you also have to be able to read things on the fly. And so this shows a very effective understanding by Tyler Kolick. Again, we can see that the big stays in front of Tyler, which means that if you have a shooting big that can pop out here, that is the, the open play essentially. And then you don't even have somebody close out. So this depends on whether 14 can shoot or not, but this can be in a very effective for your offense, but a good pass from Tyler for sure. Then we get to our third pass. This is the pass I think is one of probably very, very crucial to have in your arsenal if you're going to be a very, very good passer, and that is skipping the ball to the other side. The reason this is so important is because you have defenses that tried to shade over to prevent essentially you and the roller, and so your ability to move the ball from one side of the court to the other is what really puts strain on the defense, and Tyler does this very, very effectively. Even though 55 isn't really a shooter, giving it to him and allowing space to work creates open opportunities. Some of the big undervalued things we're looking at for Tyler is how he's able to essentially lead the player to where they need to be. Okay, so in the last pass, we saw it put him right on the spot so he can go downhill. This one, you can see Tyler actually understands this better than the player he's throwing it to. The player he's throwing it to, I'm telling you right now, he's not a shooter. And for some reason, he's going to the corner. Tyler throws a perfect lob, anticipating him to be near the rim and to attack the rim. And so he realizes, oh, okay, that's where he put it. You can see Tyler with his arm up here. And so eventually he figures it out and he does go get it. And so this is an awkward looking pass, but it's because Tyler understands the game better than the player he was throwing it to, which is like great to see from Tyler's perspective. All right, ball gets moved around here. We can see the defense is in rotation. I don't know what number four is pointing to, but defense is in rotation. So that means there's an imbalance somewhere. Ball gets swung around and Tyler Kolek is going to punish it by getting downhill. And I like that little right there. That is something that is very nuanced that a lot of players don't possess the ability is just hesitate there for a little bit. Allow this, the big, to essentially 
has to pick between 55 and him. And so that little off balance puts 21 just out of position, which means that you have openings because you have to have the other defender come help over, which means 35 is open. And then as we talked about the swing pass, 35 swings it to another good open look, although four doesn't take it. Um, and it chooses to dribble. I hate, I hate this right here. This is swing this ball. Don't put the ball on the ground. It drives me absolutely crazy. Uh, but Tyler Kolick did a great job in this passing. And so, so far what we've seen from Tyler is the ability to essentially put the defense in very uncomfortable situations. And this, I think, bodes super well. Again, we see the same little hesitation right there. They force the big to either stay with you or stay with the post player. Puts him in a very awkward situation and makes it so the other defender has to help off. Okay, what does Tyler do? Who's open? 17 for the skip. Boom. Puts it right on the freaking money. That is a such a good pass. Okay, you have hands in front of you. Tyler understands where the space is. And just boom. Right to the numbers. Great pass. Great look. And being able to show these passing skills early in your career. Frankly, I was super high on in, Mar in Marquette. But being able to show these passing skills is so crucial as like I legit, I think he has a chance to be a real good point guard in the NBA. Who's the open one right here? Get the defense to collapse upon you and you got boom. Corner shooter right there. Again, perfect pass. Maybe not perfect. Very, very good pass and another clean look. This is our fourth category of passes. I'm going to call this the probing pass. Okay, so this is his ability to get to the inside and he's not just looking simply for the outside or the inside, he's looking for lapses in defensive concentration. Somebody helps down just a little bit too much. Okay, so here, number seven is guarding 17, and he came in on the inside. And Tyler Kolick does a great job finding it. And where is this best? Perfect. Right in the shot pocket. Another great pass to 17. And it all happened. Tyler got to the inside, forces the defense's eyes in here, and just takes what the defense gives him. Finds a great pass. Again, we're going to see Tyler get to the inside, and I really like him as an initiator coming off of ball screens. He does such a good job. Hey, ball gets to the inside, defense and rotation. Why well, you got to be able to punish this. this. This passing is not super easy. Tyler is pointing to the open player. However, I'm telling you that just people don't often pass like this. Instead, 55 is going to go to Tyler. Tyler's like, okay, I'll create the advantage. No worries. Hey, he gets downhill. What is he looking for? He's looking for the defense lapse. Is the defense going to leave here? Defense going to leave here? Defense going to leave here? Tyler, just a simple pass. It's a little bit behind him. Don't get me wrong. This one was a little bit off target. But a simple pass creates an open look again at the rim. And so I'm telling you, you just don't see this kind of passing at a very high level early on, except from, like, frankly, European players is the, the first thought that my head goes to. And so Tyler Kolek being able to do this in the summer league, I think bodes so, so well. I would love to see him on an NBA roster getting maybe backup point guard minutes, but then I think he's going to be a full-time point guard real soon because he exploits the defense so well. Gets it to the inside again, and then he's essentially finding who's going to be the open one on the perimeter, and it's a pass to 17. Again, 17 was moving a little bit, so this is slightly off target, but this is a great catch and shoot by 17. Maybe 17's their, their good shooter. Because that, that's pretty good hand-eye coordination to catch that and get that as a good elevation. And then shoot the opposing bench as well. It's also also crucial. I love that. But overall, in general, Tyler Kolek, boom, gunshot right to the bench. Um, I love Tyler Kolek. I am so, so excited for what he brings to the league, what his he brings to basketball, period. And I actually did a video on him with Marquette this past, maybe a couple months ago. I'll link it right here if you want to check that out. But if you enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe. And I am very, very optimistic about Tyler Kolek and his future in the NBA.